background removal is extremely powerful. Ah, AI beefcake. <laughs> Let's get started, my friends. Today, I want to show you how to remove backgrounds inside of Automatic 11.11, but then also how to use it inside of ComfyUI, where it is a lot more powerful. Also, my Patreon supporters get this workflow and a lot of other workflows and videos as a reward. Thanks for your support. Inside of Automatic 11.11, the story is pretty easy. There is an extension, it's called Stable Diffusion Web UI REMBG, and you want to use that title inside of Automatic 11.11, where you go to Extensions, you click to Available, you click to Load From, and you enter it here into the search bar, or you look through the list to find that title. When you found that, you click on the right side here on install. After the install has finished, you go to installed and click on apply and restart UI. Now the downside of this extension is it does not work directly in the text to image tab in here. You have to create the image first, then you go down here to send to extras. Once you are in Send to Extras, you want to scroll down and here at the lowest point you can see Remove Background. You want to make a check mark to that. You also can click on that to open it up and in there you have multiple other choices. First of all, you have here the different methods of background removal. For example, U2Net, U2NetP, U2Net Human Sec, U2Net Cloth Sec. Cloth Sec is actually interesting because it splits up the different clothing items into different parts of the image. However, in that case, you want to have an image where the hands or other body parts or other image parts are not overlaying that part of the clothing because otherwise, of course, you don't have the complete clothing in there. Once you have selected this, the only thing you have to do is to click up here on generate and this will give you the image with a removed background as a PNG download. This means that this dark area here is now transparent. I highly suggest that you click on the image and see if the removal has worked in a nice way. Look at the edges if they are fine and good enough. Also look at small gaps, for example, inside of here or between the arms or the hands and the backgrounds, the fingers, things like that to see if you got a good result from that. If you're not happy with the result, you can click down here on alpha matting and this will give you several values. You can adjust these values for the foreground threshold and background threshold to see if they give you better results. But look at the different parts of the body. Let's go here big again. For example, different parts of the clothing in that case, if they start to get transparent. If that happens, of course, you're starting to have a problem. You have also another setting here that is the erode size. This is kind of the detail level that you can adjust here and play around with that to see how fine or how rough the detail should be in the removal of the background. Another advice I want to give you is, for example, for characters to write standing in a gray studio. The benefit of a gray studio background, and this is also often used in professional photography, is that the gray doesn't interfere with most of the colors you use in there, and it also doesn't remove the colors out of the image when you remove the background. For example, if you have a green or a blue background, you can see that the clothing here is blue, so it would take parts of that clothing. Also, the green or the blue would leave a green green or blue edge and a green or blue color impression here around the hair. So that's not ideal. A gray background often works very well for subjects. And of course, after this is done, you can simply save the image and use it in any way you want. However, inside of Automatic 11.11, there isn't any other way to process the image. Now, this brings us to ComfyUI, where I told you this is a lot more powerful and I prepared for your workflow where you have different areas. In the first area, we are rendering the character. You can see here the prompt, negative prompt, our latent image, the K sampler and the image output. In this case, again, I'm rendering a character in a studio on a gray background. Now notice in this case that she has a dark blue dress that she is wearing. This is important for us for the reason of the background combination. So you can see down here that I prepared for you a second render with a separate 
prompt, negative prompt and k sampler. And here we have the output from that prompt. And you can see that this is a teal and orange room. Now this already gives us a good reason to have the character and the background separated because there is no color spilling between the blue dress and the teal and orange background. So you can basically combine any kind of clothing color with any kind of background colors. Because in ComfyUI there are a lot more choices and a lot more people who create these nodes, I have prepared three different examples for you on how you can remove the background. The first one is from a pack that is called Layer Style. Now this is not directly removing the background, instead it is creating a mask for you. So here we can see we have first the layer mask generation and then we have here something that's called pixel spread. And this is then coming together with a composite to create create this image here. Now don't be confused. This is not our final image. And the reason why this is not our final image is if you look closely, you will see that the selection around the hair is not 100% perfect. And you can also see that the gap between the arm and the dress has the gray from the studio background, not the room. Like I said, I've also prepared two other methods for you. One is from the vast note pack. Here we have an actual background ground removal. What this does is it gives us a PNG with the background removed and you can see that by no background being here in the preview image. And then again, I'm combining these two images. In this case, I'm using a note by Art Venture Pack because I don't have a mask. I'm simply directly combining these two images together, background and foreground. And then the last one I'm showing you is from Mix Lab Pack. Now this is the easiest one. It doesn't have any settings, but you can choose here between the different methods we have seen before inside of Automatic 11.11. This is also outputting a mask and an image where the background in this case is darkened. And here again, we have this composite node that will then combine these two images together. Now in the final step, I'm combining both images and rendering over them to have a nicer combination of both of them. You can see I have a VAE encode here and you can combine that with either of these outputs by simply dragging them into the input over here to see what kind of result you want to have. Now here also have the prompt written in a combined way, woman with curly hair in a blue business dress and a skirt standing in an interior design room. And this is rendered with a denoise of 0.37. We don't need a strong denoise here because we are not doing a latent upscale or anything like that. We already have a very clear image that we use as an input. However, we need some denoise because we want to change the image a little bit to blend better with the background. So on the left side, you can see our original image, the original background, and this is now our render output. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see that the hair and the background has been blended a lot better. And also the small gaps between the body has now the color of the background, not the color of the studio. Of course, the method I'm showing you here has some limitations. For example, it doesn't change the perspective of the room or the person. It doesn't change the light colors on the person. So for example, if you have a nightclub or you have a sunset, things like that, the person still is going to have the studio light on her. You can do other things like overlaying it with an ambient light layer, stuff like that. So you can go a lot more complex and deeper inside of ComfyUI if you want to, to get a better and more refined result from that. This is just like a basic concept to get you started. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.